there. Um, I found Full Sail Bach, which is actually a, a, a double Bach, otherwise known as a Doppelbach. Um, and it says, um, limited edition, available for 90 days only. Um, and it looks like it was, I guess not brewed on 5, 10, 15, because that hasn't come yet. Um, so, um, Full Sail makes some pretty good beers. I haven't had a Full Sail in a while. Um, but there's a Doppelbach, uh, category, and it's BJCP 5C. Um, let me see here. Alcohol by volume. This is 7%, um, and the Doppelbach category ranges from about 7 to 10. Um, and I think I've only really had the, um, German versions of these beers, and I, I can't recall specifically at this particular moment whether or not I've had an American version, so I'm interested in giving it a try. I'm sure I have. I've had enough different beers at this point. Um, so let's jump in. So we're in my favorite category, not category, my favorite neighborhood of beer, dark and malty. Um, so I'm excited to give this a shot. Um, right off the bat, I get this great, complex multi sweetness mm. a little bit of toastiness to it it's definitely um, roasty mm. smells great sometimes you'll get like a a sweet smell like a grape juice smell I never really smell the grape juice but I usually taste it tastes to me like grape juice it reminds me of um, um, when I went to the Jewish Community Center in Walnut Creek, and on Fridays we got um, grape juice. And so every time I have grape juice, dark grape juice, that's what I think of. But anyway, um, okay, appearance-wise, it should be a nice dark brown color. Um, this is a darker version, so we're looking for that darker color. Um, I poured it in this tiny glass, um, um, and it didn't have a lot of head on it. This is a tiny glass, so it's hard to see. But it looks like... Um, Dark, um, stronger versions might have less head and more noticeable legs, but I don't think we're going to see that a lot at the 7% um, range, so it's hard to tell um, if it just didn't pour because it's such a tiny little glass. Um, a, um, flavor. Yeah, I'm excited about this, so I want to jump in. Reminds me of the first beer I ever made. Hmm. Definitely malty and sweet. Um, des definitely has a kind of a toasty, roasty quality to it. Um, very malty. This is all malt. This is a malt, um, malt profile as much as, a, a, an IPA is a hops profile. Um, I get a little bit of fruitiness out of it, but just a little bit. It's not like drinking um, grape juice. Spot and Optimator. That's the one that always tastes like grape juice to me. Um, anyway, this has, um, it has a decent alcohol flavor to it. Almost a little bit of a warming, um, even at just 7%. Um, but very good. It's actually very well balanced. Um, I think they've done a good job in, in, um, in keeping the balance and it's very drinkable. Um, and I think I prefer this darker kind over the lighter version that tends to be a little bit more fruity. This has a little bit more of a toasted kind of chocolate quality to it, which I find enjoyable. I think body-wise, um, it's a medium body beer. It's not um, really heavy or light so much. Um, what I think is interesting is that the, is the carbonation. It's like small and intense, and I can't um, like normally um, highly carbonated beer kind of has big bubbles, and you can feel it kind of being bitey on your tongue. This is like. A whole bunch of tiny little bubbles, which I think is really interesting. So it's kind of like, uh, 
I want to say almost like pop rocks, you know, except it doesn't hurt. Um, it's just a whole bunch going on at the same time. So that's interesting. The carbonation for this particular style should be moderate to moderately low. Um, and so I don't think it's highly carbonated. It's just interestingly carbonated. It's almost like a soft drink, I want to say. I uh, Anyway, um, so a little bit of history about this particular style. It's a Bavarian specialty first brewed in Munich by the monks of St. Francis of Paula. Historical versions were less well attenuated than modern interpretations with con consequently higher sweetness and lower alcohol levels and hence was considered liquid bread by the monks. The term doppel or doppelbock was coined by Munich consumers. Many doppelbocks have names ending in ator, um, either as a tribute to the prototypical Salvator um, or to take advantage of the beer's popularity. And so we see that in some commercial examples such as Paul, uh, Pauliner Salvator, um, uh, Eyinger Celebrator, um, Spot and Optimator. Those are some of that are um, listed here on the as good commercial examples. Um, so darker versions um, are going to have more caramelization of the malts that give it that kind of sweeter profile so we're not getting that same uh, kind of fruitiness out of it. And I think that that is, um, is evident here. Now, oftentimes when you get a little bit more maltiness, um, it can be dry. Um, and astringent almost, and this is not. This is still very juicy and drinkable. So it's kind of a good combination between um, fruity, grapefruity, or excuse me, fruity as in grape juice, um, and multi uh, toasted caramel. So very good balance. This is this is actually really well done. This is a very enjoyable beer. I don't think I've ever seen this um, in the stores and. I want to say I got this at Trader Joe's in the single bottle section because I have a couple of random beers in my refrigerator um, that I, I think I picked up when I was there. So I think that's where it came from. Um, and that makes me kind of want to go back and get some more. So great beer, um, very drinkable, uh, probably very very widely available. I think full sales pretty um, um, Oh, Hood River out of Oregon. So I think that Full Seal is pretty widely available. Um, so I definitely recommend that you give this a shot. If this is something that you have tried before, let me know. Um, or if you like this particular style, let me know if you have any other recommendations for beers that I can give a try. Um, I see that Sam Adams has a, uh, has a double bock, but I think it's the lighter version and not the darker version. Um, just out of curiosity, my my um, likes will tend toward the darker versions. I like Dunkelweizen um, in that same respect, so you can recommend beers. Um, dark box, that would be great. Um, thank you so much for watching, and have a great night.